This is just... Way worse than me. That's just the water that's coming down the trail. I mean, that's nuts. Good morning, people. It is like 8 a.m. and we are headed up to the top of Mount Ka'ala. But uh, we already went to the ridge once and we already videoed all that. So I'm just gonna uh, link the video in the description that goes up to the edge or the ridge. And then uh, we'll continue on for there, from there. So see you up there. Boom, we're up here at the top of the ridge and uh, unlike last time, there's absolutely no view. So uh, I'm just gonna throw in a couple clips real quick so you can see kind of what the hike is on the way up if you uh, didn't see my other video and what the view from here was last time. So uh, as you can see, we're completely drenched. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of raining. I have salt in my eyes from the sweat. It's crazy humid, but it's a good day and we're having fun. Ran into some pretty cool people on the way up. It looks like, like my lens is totally smudged and I don't think that's gonna be fixed because of the humidity. So uh, bear with me on that, but an hour and 30 minutes exactly to the ridge. So made decent time hopefully it doesn't take more than an hour and a half from here to get to the top but uh thanks for coming along for the ride and from here on out it's all new terrain so it should be very interesting and very fun might not be able to see any views but so cool just like looking out it's so mystical so mysterious you can always find beauty in everything that's my motto and uh, I think that's what we're definitely finding here today. It's like it's not even really drizzling right now. It's like almost full on raining. But check this out. That is the ridge that we are headed up. Looks awesome. All right, trail. Boom. Almost vertical vegetation growth on a massive cliff. That's kind of scary because it looks like there's ground right there. But if I was to step one step forward, Eric. I'd be off the mountain. Woo! And that's where we're headed. That is where we're going. We figured out we have, that. We have about half a mile left. But check out how crazy this ridge is getting. We're dropping down a little bit, and then it just looks like it gets super gnarly. We're making pretty good time. My uh, my feelings about this hike have been going up and down. I know I know when we get to the top and we get back down, it's gonna be one. It's gonna be probably the highlight of my trip here or my time here in Oahu. One of the best things, probably the best hike for sure. But uh, it's kind of that type two fun. It's not necessarily super fun in the moment, but once it's over, it's an awesome experience. So. It's kind of hard too, because a lot of the times, if you don't hug the bushes, you'll be stepping right off the edge, trying to stay safe.
not a sketchy experience at all. Woo! Woo, check out that ridge. Oh goodness, that is cool. Oh man, we just hit two hours. Right up in the clouds there could be the summit. I don't know, I guess we'll find out, but. Woo, check that out boys. Goodness. I don't know how well uh, metal cable is. That's really easy to slip hold it onto. This is slightly sketchy. And I'm used to sketchy things. Oh, hey look, wild raspberries. Woo. Almost there. More mud, more rock, more lots of steepness. Here we go. This could be our last long haul uphill with ropes. Woo. You know that sound when you have wet socks? Yep. Right there. Squish. <laughs> Squish. Oh yeah, here we are. Oh, my lens is so gross, I apologize. This is gonna look horrible, but oh, look at how mucky this is. We're definitely in a rainforest. I mean, that's just, oh. Slop, slop, slop. Ka'ala Natural Area Reserve. The Natural Area Reserve system was established to protect representative examples of Hawaii's natural history, land and water areas which support unique Hawaiian ecosystems. We ask the public's cooperation in maintaining the reserve in its natural state for the enjoyment and education of Hawaii's people. Wow, this is kind of cool. So we've entered uh, Ka'ala Natural Area Reserve, which I actually didn't even know was a thing. Guys, check this out. All this trees and stuff up here. Woo! This is awesome. Look at this moss. Oh my goodness. That's just inches of moss. Moss everywhere, everything covered in moss. That is cool. It's like a little crater almost right in the top of the mountain. Yeah. So from below, that's actually what I was seeing. I, th I was thinking we were coming up to right there and then gonna drop down and go up to there. But it actually looks like we come along here and go up there. And maybe actually the peak is way down there. Oh man, it's like Jurassic Park or just almost doesn't seem real up here. Woo! Oh yeah! Woo! Oh, if I only I could keep this lens somewhat clean. So this must be like kind of the false summit, but that actually over there looks higher. So I think we gotta, gotta keep moving. What they're talking about, they said there was boards going over a bog. Here we go, here's boards. Now we just gotta find the blue moss. Oh man. There we go. There's some blue moss. I honestly, like just for this walk on these boards is worth the hike up. It's definitely a one of a kind hike. Goodness, this is definitely a lot longer than I was expecting. Yep. We've been walking on these boards for probably 10 minutes now, and we're still going. So we just discovered something that makes us feel like idiots. That blue moss, it is actually natural plant oils and blue paint dye. They're marking moss as an invasive moss. 
and they're marking it for treatment. So when those guys said it looked like it was spray painted, it was. It was spray painted. It was spray painted blue to mark it for treatment. <laughs> but uh, hey, it looked pretty. It was cool, but it makes us feel like an idiot. So it's not as cool anymore. <laughs> so if you ever hike on here, uh, just know that it's not some special species, <laughs> special variety of moss. It is an invasive species. We need to find the actual highest point. We're uh, we're at the top ish. Not sure what all that stuff is. There's a sign up here that might tell us we're gonna go see, and then we gotta find the actual highest point because this is like. I mean, this is just a little meadow on top. Oh shoot, there's actually a road all the way up here. Huh. Yeah, I travel on the roads regulated by the FAA, which is kind of weird. I was not expecting this. I was expecting to get to the top and it just be no trace of humanity besides a trail. But instead, of course, because we're on Hawaii, we get to the top and warning, US Air Force installation. It is unlawful to enter this area without permission of the installation commander. And we're assuming it's a radar station. Oh, oh, that was gross. Mud, 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 mud. Yeah, the guys that were coming down, man, they were just muddy as all get out. It's completely soaked. We, I was trying to figure out why. Now we absolutely know why. But this dude, there's a Ford truck just chilling up here. That ain't cool. There's no adventure. This is kind of sketchy. So, uh, run down on the summit of Kaala, JT. Yeah. What do you think? Man, what an experience. All nice and wet, muddy. Kind of not what I expected here at the top. Yeah. I would definitely say that if you're not somebody that uh, thrives on the experience and you just hike for the views, don't come on a cloudy day. But if you like a challenge and a bit of a, a more of an, an intense experience, Maybe do it on a cloudy day and a sunny day so you can get both. Obviously, the views from up here, I've been told, are absolutely phenomenal. Um, but on a cloudy day, most of the nicest stuff is on the trail because, I mean, you get up here, there's this big military station outpost thing. There's a lot of signs, a lot, you know, you got the road and everything. So it's uh, the summit itself on a day without views isn't worth it but the experience and some of the just the cool things in the bog and everything that is worth it if you're the type of person that enjoys type 2 fun this is time to head back down i don't know how much i'm going to video on the way back down all right back into the nature reserve all right we're back down we're back down at the ridge um Took us about an hour to get down here from the summit. So uh, we're basically right at four hours from starting and it'll probably take us an hour or so to get back down to the car. So it'll be probably right about five hours, but on the way down up there, it was pretty crazy. So here's some footage of what it was like hiking down from the top. When there's a river coming down your trail, you know it's not just sprinkling. This is just, that's just the water that's coming down the trail. I mean, that's nuts. I'm just gonna put my camera away. There's nothing too interesting on the way down. I'm just gonna put the camera away and uh, see you guys back at the car.
All right, back at the house, but it is actually several days later, actually like a week later. I was editing the footage and I realized I totally forgot to film an outro. Um, I was so tired after getting back from Ka'ala. It was such a great hike, but just with the rain and everything, it made it a really tiring experience. And uh, we hiked over eight miles, 5,400 feet of elevation gain and loss. Um, and most of that was very steep, strenuous uphill. If you've hiked it, you definitely understand it's a tiring day. If you haven't hiked it, you should, but um, it is, it really sh should only be hiked by experienced hikers. Usually when you see um, things saying for experienced hikers, it's not as bad as it sounds. But in this case, there are some quite sketchy places. Um, when it was wet, it made it really sketchy. When it's dry, it would be less so, but if you're not used to um, scrambling up very steep places and just that intense of a hike, um, it would be it would be very, very difficult. So, but it, it was one of the greatest experiences I've had here. And I'm definitely glad we went. I, like I mentioned, I believe in the video um, earlier, is it, it's kind of type two fun to me. A lot of hikes like that, it's uh, in the moment, sometimes you feel kind of miserable. You're exhausted and you're just, you just keep going. But the views you see or the experiences you have are totally worth it. And when you get back down to the bottom, you're so glad you went. Um, and basically, as soon as you get down, you're happy about it. You're excited about it the next day from then on you're happy you went um, but sometimes in the moment it's not the greatest experience and that's type 2 fun that's kind of how it was for me and part of that was because it was raining like crazy it was absolutely phenomenal I absolutely loved it but there was times that I wished I was just back at home sitting at the table on my computer or something like I said I'm very glad I went and if you haven't been, uh, if you're coming to Hawaii sometime, definitely check it out if you want a great experience, um, but also a difficult challenge. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had a ton of fun putting it together. I think a lot of the footage turned out kind of cool. It doesn't show quite how strenuous and crazy it is, but um, I think you get a good idea of what kind of experience we had. So I hope you guys enjoyed and Hopefully I'll be posting more frequently again throughout the summer. I'm gonna to try to post once a week, but if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like or comment. Hit that subscribe button for more. I have an awesome video about swimming with the turtles coming up in a few days. So if you wanna see that, subscribe, check out the channel. Until next time, peace out.